I don't know how that's going to go on. But we had to start out with some Rockford Files, number one fan. Uh, yeah, thanks for your condolences. We were stopped, and then I guess he was digging and looking for something. I don't know. So luckily he was stopped and didn't crash me full on. But yeah, and I just seen a Camry in the yard the other day with the same color trunk. And I was like... I should get that, but I didn't, so, yep, um, so replacement of my tranny went as follows, the reverse was slipping out, but what would happen is, I would go up a hill, and I would like, huh, it's slipping a little bit, and then, about three months later, you couldn't shift or anything, I was going down a road slow, and you would park, the transmission would cool down, you would be able to get a few more feet or, you know, a couple more blocks. So that's how I figured out my tranny was bad. We dropped the pan, crap was all in there. And, uh, but I posted a link of a video and it shows the solenoid, whatever. It's pretty rednecky, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. It's, you know, those solenoids in there. So I think there's a way to test them with the ohm tester if you read down through his description. So you might drop the pan. And I did a power flush on mine, which wasn't recommended. And they were on it for like 20 minutes, getting all the black oil out. But yeah, so my tip was I just went through the junkyard and... The transmissions go out about 150 if they do go out. Some of them last forever. So 150 and then you just want to go through and then see if they, you can tell if they changed bolts or whatever. And then that's how I figured it out. And then while I was at it, I swapped my uh, clutch out, I think, I hope. I don't know, I might have been broke around that time. So, mine was, it sounds like yours is still driving. It's just having a thing, and then if you see, the gaskets were sort of cracked. So, something along that line. I don't know why you wouldn't change the transmission fluid, because he said he was straining and cleaning. I have no clue. I did mine. I did the power flush and that was a no-no, but she's still running. We got 5,000 miles to go to 300. It's still drivable, so I just need a new trunk. It's going to snow or rain, so I hope this situation gets resolved quick. So, yeah. What else did you put in here? Uh, we might as well hit the like and the heart. And, uh, yeah, so I think it's a solenoid thing. Watch that video. Pretty interesting. I didn't know that. So I might go to the junkyard and actually drop a pan and see if I can repeat those steps. But I think you can drop the pan, do an ohm test on the solenoids or something. So you might look into that. Well, enough babbling, buddy. Oh, we gotta go again. Watch, they kick me for copyright. Uncle L's out. <laughs>